Hello, my name is Jayanth. I'm based out of Bangalore, the Silicon Valley of India, and working for Team Geos at Dell Technologies, focused on Azure Stack in the APJ region. Now, on the fourth day of Christmas, Azure Stack gave me the new concept known as stretch clustering on Azure Stack at CI. So, in this video, I will talk about how to achieve disaster recovery and business continuity natively. Yes, you heard it right. Natively using Azure Stack HCI stretch clustering. As you know, disaster can hit any time. So when thinking about disaster and recovery, I think of three things. One, be prepared. Two, plan on not involving humans. Three, automatic and not automated. Now having a good strategy is a must. You want to be able to have resources automatically move out of one data center to the other and not have to rely on someone to actually go flip the switch for you. Now using Azure Stack HCI stretch clustering, you can pretty much achieve all of this in a very simplistic approach. The two sites that are stretch clustered can be located within the same building or in two geographical locations. Now there are two types of stretch clusters. One is active passive, the other is active active. Now you can set up active passive site replication where there is a preferred site and a direction for replication. Now active active replication on the other hand is where replication can actually happen bidirectionally from either side. The stretch clustering uses the built-in technologies such as storage replica, failover clustering for local site resiliency, automatic virtual machine failover to create synchronous or asynchronous replication with the option of enabling encryption. The stretch cluster can be created from the within the purview of Windows Admin Center, popularly known as WAC, specifying whether this is a single site or two site cluster. Storage replica which is the replication technology used in stretch clustering supports both synchronous and asynchronous replication. Now synchronous replication mirrors data across sites in a low latency network with crash consistent volumes to ensure zero data loss at the file system level during a failure. Asynchronous replication on the other hand mirrors data across sites beyond metropolitan ranges over a network links with higher latencies but without a guarantee that both sites have identical copies of the data at the time of failure. Now to learn more about the Azure Stack HCI stretch clustering, I would strongly encourage you to watch the link referenced in this video where John Marlin from Microsoft describes how to set up and configure stretch clustering using Windows Admin Center. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.